Hi, my name is Henry Segerman. This is toroidal half 120 cell. So this is a variant on another uh, 3D prints I made. This is half 120 cell. So both of these objects are uh, representations of a uh, four-dimensional polytope, four-dimensional regular polytope called the 120 cell. So the polytopes are um, analogs of the three-dimensional regular polyhedra. So how do you make these uh, um, objects as three-dimensional objects when these uh, supposedly representations of four-dimensional objects. So you have a, a polytope, you put all its vertices on the unit sphere in four-dimensional space, and then you can project all of the edges radially uh, from the center so that they all um, are on the, the, the unit sphere in four-dimensional space as well. And then you can use stereographic projection to move uh, that pattern uh, down into three-dimensional Euclidean space where we can um, where we can print a model of it. Now there's a problem with the uh, 120 cells. So there's so many cells that you get a um, um, the the there are edges that are very close to the projection point um, in stereographic projection, and so that means that you get a very large object in the image. And uh, so uh, the way that we came up with uh, fixing this, this is uh, Saul Schleimer and myself, was to uh, cut away the points, the parts which are near to the um, projection point, which are then very, very big. And so the way we did it the first time was to cut it along a sphere. So this is the equatorial sphere uh, in, S, uh, in S3. Um, but there's other options. All you have to do is get rid of the stuff that's, that's near um, the projection point or near infinity um, when you've projected it into R3. And so what we did here was um, rather than cutting along a sphere to cut along a torus. So um, this is uh, the, the Clifford torus, is uh, um, a torus that cuts the three-dimensional sphere in, into e two equal parts, and this is what you get on the inside. So there's some choices here. Um, so we uh, cut it uh, so that one of the axes of the, the, um, the two solid tori that make up the um, complement of the Clifford torus one of the axes is along the five-fold axis. So you can see it here. Um, if you um, if you rearrange the 120 cell in a different way, then you get a different sort of pattern. One of the very nice features of this is that um, there's all of these vertices, uh, which actually on the the, the Clifford torus, the torus halfway, uh, that cuts the uh, the three-dimensional sphere into two pieces. Um, so you actually get this sort of pattern. Uh, this tiling of the um, torus by um, squares. Um, and if you arrange it in a different way, uh, not along a, along a five-fold axis, you'll get some other sort of uh, tiling of this torus. Um, so there you have the uh, toroidal half-120 cell.